News Channel 9's Ira St. Moran joining us live now at the New York State Fairgrounds for more on this and how, Iris, is it affecting the rollout in central New York and operations there? Christy, things are operating here as normal today. Yesterday was actually the last day excuse me, that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine was on the schedule for appointments here. And anyone who showed up with an appointment for Johnson & Johnson was offered the Pfizer vaccine. There were 965 appointments, and the state was able to accommodate all 965 appointments if they that person was interested in switching to the Pfizer vaccine. The fairgrounds uh, uh, says that there is no concern about the availability or the supply of the Pfizer vaccine because they receive regular weekly shipments. And in a joint statement yesterday, the CDC and FDA says that if you had already received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and within three weeks experience shortness of breath, uh, severe headache, leg pain, or abdominal pain, that you should contact your health care provider. Live at the fairgrounds, Iris St. Moran, News Channel 9.